is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video. Clearly, we're going back to Hidden Fates. Uh, we're 100% sure there is, has been another tin reprint. So I figure we can open up three more of these. We do have a. We don't have the whole set. We have two Raichu, one Gyarados, and actually, our girlfriend surprised us with some Dollar Tree packs. Actually, never opened Dollar Tree on the channel, so this will be the first time we have five cracks. Looking to match. Tim on Discord, uh, he opened up a Gold Zacian. That's going to be very tough, but we'll give it a try. And I don't see my knife. All right, let's begin getting into these tins. We'll be right back and we'll be cracking into these packs. Alright, I think we're good to go. Uh, one, just one side note is we've been using these new sleeves from the toolkits and I kind of like it. I like the back. Uh, I feel like the sleeve is a little bit bigger. It has a different feel compared to like the traditional ETB sleeves. Uh, so kind of like I, I like it some things about it, but uh, some I'm not crazy about. Alright, let's go into our first pack. <clears throat> Alright, so in the last Pokemart video, we took a look at the going rate for Charizard, Shiny Charizard PSA 10 and it's some interesting numbers came from it. I think like if you could sell it at like the p potential highest price right now, you could open, I think it was like 90 plus tins uh, and if you did pull one Charizard that's, oh wow, we got Alolan Ninetales. I've been wasn't even paying that close attention and we got a huge hit. Uh, I feel like it's not very well centered. Actually side to side is kind of hard to tell. Top to bottom maybe a little bit uh, pushed downward. Uh, yeah definitely so. But a uh, huge hit. Let's grab, uh, you know what? Can we send this to PSA? Uh, let's grab a perfect fit. I feel like it's a little off centered. Not a, not a PSA uh, expert so I have no idea what would qualify you bring it down to a 9 as far as centering, but this is definitely not perfect, so we'll just leave it here for now. Let me just rearrange some piles, and let's keep going. Huge start. We got 12 packs. But, um, yeah, so factoring in the cost of the tins at MSRP, and then the amount that you could sell it for, or potentially where prices are heading, and then including shipping and PSA fee, uh, and you could actually break even after opening 90 tins, which sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, Ekans, Vaporeon is our rare slot. And then just a Staryu. For some reason, oh, I couldn't see the foil at first. I thought I was like, wait a minute. Is this potentially an error? It looked like a non holo Vaporeon. Alright, Mewtwo pack. See, shout outs to I believe it's Lou on Discord. I uh, was kind of filling us in on what the market is like over in Europe, and uh, I took a look at Card Market where he suggested it's kind of like the European eBay. I thought, and the prices are crazy. Ooh, this one looks like it's pressed a little weird. I believe that was was that one tin's worth already. No, I believe this is the last pack for the first 10. So we already got a huge hit. And you know, it's like I make a big deal about hit ratios. Uh, but definitely, you know, if this only comes up with one hit, but it is a, not only a GX, shiny GX, but a very good one, I'd be totally content with that result. Cleaf Fairy, Slowpoke, Starmie. So we did get two. Uh, this one obviously is nothing too crazy. And then just a Pikachu. So. Very satisfied with our, ooh, almost dropped it. Very satisfied with our first 10. Let's go on to number two. All right, so, so far with these reprint tins, uh, just scrolling through Reddit, like you see tons of people saying like they pulled Charizard, which is, so I'm pretty sure it is possible, but I would say 
yeah, well, we've had good ratios so far with these reprint tints, but that's about it. I would, I feel like our shiny GX count is a little low. Full Art Supporter has been kind of low. Uh, gold's maybe not too bad. I think uh, at one point there, the thought was like one out of a hundred packs for a gold or something, or I can't remember that or the stadium, maybe both. All right, let's see, Charmander, Voltor, and Coughing Ekans, Cubone, ooh, Jesse and James. I think I definitely prefer this one over Giovanni. Whenever I pull Giovanni, it's like, first off, we have a bunch of them, and it's like, oh man, never pull boss's order, but we can pull plenty of Giovanni's Exile. So there we go, another successful, another good hit, and we got Shiny Gibble as well. I feel like this one, you know, I, I talk a lot about how the the chances of getting a PSA 10 Charizard is pretty high if we just look at the, the 9 and 10 ratio. But I do feel like the more recent print waves, I feel like the centering is not very good. You know, consistently the cards are, they feel not well centered, not perfectly centered. And again, I, I don't know how off it could be and still warrant the 10 assuming, you know, edges and the surface are perfectly fine. If you have any insights, actually, let me know in a comment down below, because I am genuinely curious and don't definitely don't have that not, that much experience with PSA. In fact, our first handful of submissions are still waiting, and uh, it's going to be quite a while before we get those back. Butterfree is our rare. Yes, somehow that is a rare. Oh my gosh, another shiny GX. So as I say, our pull rates have been great. We are doing very well. Once again, off center, I feel like it's a little pushed down a little bit. You can kind of tell. Look at up here if you compare these two margins. Bayonet. I think this one can go in a perfect fit. Don't think, uh, even if this were, or I don't think I'll get a 10, and I'm not sure I'm willing to, too eager to get a high likely 9, low chance of a 10 Bayonet. You know, it's not very high priority right now. I feel like a lot of these have nicks in the corner. The reverse card looks pretty good though. So yeah, print quality wise, I feel like it's just the centering that is the issue right now, or potential issue. Star you, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Blaine's Last Stand into a Magikarp. And I don't remember how we got on the topic, but uh, I think we were talking about on Discord like times when uh, you know, when we kept something sealed or we opened something and probably should have kept it sealed. And I was kind of remembering back to, you know, before I started the channel, I actually opened two base set heavy packs. And like, oh man, if I had the channel going at the time, that would have been an amazing video. But uh, then I was kind of wondering, like, all right, if I actually had some of those sealed, whether I'd be brave enough to even open them or if I would just keep them sealed, especially with what's going on right now. So if I had those back sealed, uh, you know, obviously I wouldn't know what's inside of them. I'm not sure if I would actually open it. Maybe if we hit some, like, huge milestone. But uh, definitely of our, like, packs. Actually, we do have a bunch of, like, Gym Challenge, I think Gym Challenge Gym Heroes packs. Um, watching like one, one, uh, I think TCA, I think he talks about a lot, like it can be hard to zero in unless you have like the entire box. Which one are the heavy packs? All right, only two packs left. Let's see how we're doing. All right, we got, uh, you know, five hits. So plenty to hit our ratio. Two shiny GXs. Very satisfied with this result. But maybe if we hit some kind of big milestone, that is an option. Okay. Oh, that's just a rare slot, luckily, but you can see a significant ding there. Um, you know, if it's rainbow birds, that would be very bittersweet. All right, second to last pack. Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Misty's Water Command, and a shiny Inke. Don't mind pulling a lot of Inkes and Malamars. This, the back feels pretty good center-wise. Front, not perfect. Uh, I feel like I already have some Inkes, so I think this one is fine just to go into a regular KMC sleeve. So like GXs and such, I will double sleeve uh, regular Shinies, I think I'll just put it in here for now. Alright, last pack, last one for the opening, last chance for another Zard. 
no clue how many Hidden Fates packs we opened. It's definitely a lot. So far we've pulled two Charizards. All right, here we go. Last pack magic, question mark. Geodude, a Jolteon is our rare. So as always guys, I wanna say thank you for all the support on here on YouTube, Twitch, Patreon. Uh, thank, shout out to everyone on the Discord. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanatard, oh wow, okay. Very good opening, and once again, I may well zoom in a little bit. Uh, if you take a look at this border compared to that one, like there is borderline, like the the I don't know what to call this. The, I'm just gonna call it the margin is almost cut off on this side, so very off center. But it's the weirdest part is I feel like the front and the back they don't align, which is very weird. Um, and maybe it is harder to get a ten right now, but. Uh, as far as our pulls go, that's amazing pull. Happy to pull Lucario. One of the better shinies in my opinion is, I'm a huge fan of Alolan Ninetales, but the shiny doesn't do much, you can barely tell. You know what, it's, it's Lucario, I don't feel like I don't pull too many. We'll put this in a in a uh, penny sleeve, so maybe we'll send it off PSA, but I don't know. I doubt this is enough to get like any kind of like OC qualifier, but um, I don't know, on the off chance, put that there. So. Hit our pull ratio. Well, no, we exceeded our pull ratio, and we got three shiny GXs. Not sure when the last time we did that was, if ever, out of 12 packs. That's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Water Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> I totally forgot to say I was going for these Dollar Trees. Uh, my girlfriend just reminded me, and she said that earlier I said, uh, when I mentioned to her, I said our girlfriend was like... So my girlfriend reminded me that we are opening up these as well. All right, can we get anything out of these? Three cards each. Got a Switch Mincino and a Galarian Ponyta. There's like so few cards in here that I, don't know, I feel like I have to be delicate in opening it. And if I feel like I take more care opening up the Dollar Tree Pack than the very sought after Hidden Fates energy switch. Very good card. Alright, three left. I think um, let's just get some kind of hollow. I think that's where we should set the bar, but uh, actually our ultimate goal is to meet match Tim. That would be the home run. Ooh, we got a reverse rare. That is not bad. Or beetle in this pile. Energy. Alright, two packs remaining. Hey, yeah. Shootle. Man, as far as like the new gen turtle, oh, the guy's so disappointing. It's like a, a Meeseek's head on a turtle shell. So weird. Alright guys, last chance. Here we go. Ah, just a Galarian Meow. So no home run there, but again, very happy with the results of this opening. Thanks for watching, I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.